and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to take this ordinary plant tray and turn it into this. If at any point in the video it is too fast, please click on the instructional video on how to slow it down. Product links to all items I'll be using today will be linked in the description below. Alright, let's get started. First I'm going to use a gold spray paint just to kind of elevate this plant tray so it hopefully doesn't look so much like a plant tray when I'm done. Any spray paint color or brand could be used here, or you could also choose not to spray paint at all. If you do choose to spray paint, just make sure that you do so in a well-ventilated area. And also, just want to make sure that you get full coverage on that and that you allow it to dry properly. I am now adding greenery and the pink and white dried flowers in a random pattern to the tray until it's filled. Once you fill the tray to the extent that you want, you might want to add a little bit of gold flakes or crushed glass or something of that nature just to give it a little bit of pop. Now that my design is complete, I'm going to mix and pour resin. I did this in three layers of about 24 ounces each. I also spritzed the top of the flowers with some isopropyl alcohol first to try to help reduce bubbling. There will still be bubbles, but I'm going to actually take care of that in the next step. After you allow the resin to cure, I'm going to come back and then I will be using this geode relief. I'm going to add this to any of the areas where there may have been some bubbling or anywhere that I would like to have some additional gold accents. Make sure you allow this to dry until it becomes tacky. Then use a Pabeo geode mirror transfer sheet all over the places that you actually applied the geode relief. You can do this by placing the white side down with the shiny side up and rubbing gently across to actually transfer the gold to the piece. I didn't realize how difficult it was to actually see this on video, so I did an up close here for you to see the actual gold detail. Full confession, I decided as an afterthought I should probably put some lights in this. So in order to do so, I decided to drill a little hole on the side and then feed in these LED strip lights. I would actually recommend if you want to use lights to probably put them in in your first layer that would have been a whole lot easier than what I attempted to do here. I fed the strip lights through the hole that I made and then used the adhesive backing to go ahead and attach it along the edges. Right about at this point, I realized I have a problem because I've now made a hole in my container that I have to fill. So I chose to use some UV resin to plug the hole. I do not recommend using this method that I used and employed. I did get it to work. It was definitely difficult. So again, I would highly recommend if you want to add lights to put them in your first layer. I'm now mixing another 24 ounces of resin to pour as a second layer. Once this dried, I did discover that the white strip lighting was really predominant and kind of off-putting. So I chose to use some UV resin with some gold crushed glass to try to cover up the white strips. I just went around the entire perimeter and filled in until the white could no longer be seen. I am now going to go over the entire piece with a final coat of resin just to seal in the crushed glass and to give it a final coating. I'm going to allow this to dry 
per the manufacturer's instructions. And I am finally done. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and enjoy the view of the final product.